Hello everyone, welcome to the Fixed Focus program. Today our work is to replace the large solar dish we made in the previous videos with this small solar dish. This system with this solar dish has been working for almost 10 years and it has worked really well. Of course, during this period of 10 years, its disadvantages have also been removed. I'm going to install this big dish on the system, I'm showing it to you now. I want to replace the small solar dish with this solar dish you see. The area of this dish is 2.5 square meters, while the area of the small solar dish is less than 1 square meter. Because that dish is bigger than this solar dish, so a series of general changes must be done on the system. So first all the equipment to be changed must be opened. In these variations, I use this metal circular base. In this case, I will not have the trouble of making the base. I increase the video recording speed so that it takes less time. Two main supports of the solar dish, which were welded to the moving part of the system. And I try to use less welding in the design and installation of the new solar dish. The vertical movement part is still in place. Now it's time to open the oil pump and fixed focus and water heater tank. Let's go.
We have to make many changes for the new solar dish because the width of the new dish is 1.6 meters and the diameter of the base metal ring is 2 meters. Here I don't open up the vertical system equipment to make a rotating solar panel video and continue after the filming is done. Let's go. Now we go to the large center bearing. I move the camera closer so that it can be seen better. Its screws were very tight, and I loosened them with Well, I'm going to pull it up to get it off the bearing. As you can see, there are two big bearings. I need to check and service both bearings and oil them. To make the movable base, you must first connect the central bearing and then install the roller around it. Two semicircular fasteners are placed on both sides of the bearing. Welding must also be done because the welding part is rusted. As you can see, I opened 90% of the fixed focus system equipment. And I have left only one horizontal movable axis on which the weight of the entire equipment is placed. In order to install this solar dish, we need to redesign the system. In the new design, we must do something that can be easily installed and easily collected or the required changes can be made. Especially for the videos that are made with this system. This solar dish has dimensions of 1.6 meters by 1.6 meters. And its weight is approximately 39 kilograms, most of which is related to the weight of the mirrors. And I really don't know if the vertical gearbox is able to move this solar dish or not and if we need to change the gearbox or not. Because the volume of the video will increase, I decided to divide the installation process into two parts. Splitting the video into two parts is much better and it can be explained in more detail in the installation mode. I will try to prepare the second part of the video in the next week. So wait next week for us to perform the installation process. I hope you were satisfied with the video. I wish success to each of you and see you again goodbye.